What do you think about your good friend Chris Froome saying, hey, ban the TT bikes, do TTs on road bikes, it's safer. That way you don't have to train on those things. Uh, on the other hand, I would like because then I don't have to train on this bike anymore. But I think you're still a normal life. That really will be really sad. I mean, it's one of the disciplines that really had such a big impact in the in history of cycling. And just thinking of the hour record and the importance of, of discipline and like improvement in engineering and everything in like the 90s. Uh, it's, it's such an interesting, such a fun part of the sport that it will be quite a loss. It's cool, like, we don't really see that much innovation on the road side of things, and you see people coming with new wheels or non-sponsor equipment, and I think it's always interesting for the fans and the media, so I like that aspect of the sport. I mean, everyone says it's dangerous, but it's also like, if you, if I go for a TT training, I look for a road where I can do it safe, where I can do in position, where you don't have, um, I call it like crossing points to see cars, so it, I think it also uh, depends where you do it, and if you use your brain and, Still in the back of your mind, you're in the open traffic. Uh, respect the rules and respect the other people on the road, I think, then uh, it shouldn't be a problem. As a cyclist, you're always, whether you are on a TT bike or a normal bike, you're, you're the weaker. So it's avoidable, avoidable if we all watch out for each other on the road and just, we have to take care of us.